at the plate reader and we're gonna like uh, compare we have a, a standard dilution of BSA in this row and we want to compare that because this is uh, an already known quantity of protein and we want to see how much protein we have in our samples so that's why we're using the plate reader and so the plate reader will give us the optical density of each of the wells and that way we can at the end we're gonna have a, a curve so that we can compare the amount of protein and then we will know exactly how much protein we have so the first thing that we're gonna do is to go to we're using this software called HTSoft I'm gonna go to instrument then parameter setup we're using absorbance in this case and well we don't want to read the whole plate because it will take forever so we're gonna uh, set the range which in this case is B2 here range so it's from B2 to F10 unfortunately we cannot like eliminate these ones but it will still save us a lot of time so if then in here we also want to do multiple reads per well and we have the reading pattern as 2 times 2 then we're gonna uh, oh, I'll put the plate yeah. right in mm -hmm. so we'll put the plate just, just now and then we also have to set the, the wavelength of uh, the absorbance filter because that's uh, the measurement filter that we're using so normally we use 590 well I'm using 590 it depends on the experiment that you're um, doing so we have these uh, filters and we're just gonna put them in here like that and then we're gonna be able to choose our filter here at the software so we'll just put 590 we will double check that we have the settings that we want and then finally we're gonna go back to instrument then start measurement we're gonna name it as we wish so in this case I'm just gonna put microglia because these are microglia cell lysed samples and today's date May 16, 2015 and we'll start the measurement it will take uh, a while but uh, we'll wait for our results so that's how we set up the uh